day. All right, I'm going to do my best to start a game up here and see how we do, even with um, Fitz in the fold. So I am playing championship player. As you can see, I have a little bit of, I've tweaked the Quackle interface a little, hopefully, for some visibility on the score, make it a little bigger, make the rack a little bigger. Let's do it. Let's see how we do. I'll start my timer now. So I have a little bit of a headwind uh, with, oh, what happened with the tracking? Um, okay. All right. Um, the timer is going to be shared between me and Quackle just to keep the pace of the game going. I don't really want to spend forever. Um, So plays, computer opens with geode, 18 points. All things considered, that's a positive opening. Didn't score very much and used five tiles. I don't know if I have, um, oh, I should probably also just keep the chat mostly hidden, but maybe I'll check back into chat when I bingo or something like that. Um, so plays that I'm Imagining playing potentially Gore Crow that would clean the rack kind of nicely. This isn't a great rack. Um, I guess I could play Cowage, leaving two R's. Oh, I'm, I shouldn't be putting that in. I shouldn't be seeing the equity. I'm not. I, that's a that's a boo boo. Um, Croia, Croia leaves a GR. I could play Grower or Regrow, leaving AC. I don't think there's likely to be anything great, but I'm pretty sure my play should be through the E. Maybe if there's a good underlapping play. Yeah, what Fitz is staring right at me. It's very distracting, honey boy. Um, Yeah, I probably should just play regrow or grower, I guess. AC seems like it's a little bit better. Regrow leaves an end hook at the end for regrown, whereas grower isn't so bad. We'll go with that. I drew a bingo of Cartier. Will that play anywhere? Now I have bingos that will play. Of course, it did that by bingoing itself. So I have Radicate through the T of Omelets. Right, Fitz? RDA. I don't think that's going to play anywhere, so let's just move on with it. I'm pretty sure that's likely to be the best play here. Oh man, this bingo would play to a D if there were more space. Gonopods. Odds of getting that D are not very good. So we will have to move on with our lives is something else okay so i'm trailing narrowly emmy is now here to eat my headphones so we're getting significant cat interference which is unideal but that's okay um i have an s the s is very good because of this spot right here on this board, I could play pool. Score 26, leaving NGS. The O isn't great, but there are a ton of I's. There's only one I on the board, so the odds of NG drawing into an I are pretty good. So I think that looks like a good idea. Um, I have the word Pongo on my rack. I don't see a great place to play it. So I'm pretty sure that pool is the idea here. Actually, I could also play ghoul here, um, but pool looks significantly better for NG synergy. OK, 
computer thinking and plays an X-bomb for a lot of points. All right. Um, so I didn't draw, I don't think I drew a bingo. I'll look a little more, but glue on looks like a really nice idea to keep NS on this board. Let's look a little bit longer for possible bingos that I'm missing. Pretty sure glue on is very likely to be the right play. Uh-oh, one cat's off. Hey, Fitz, I have good news. Come here. Fitz, come here. Yes, we got to get a different cat. Yes, I know. Good boy. Good boy. Yeah, I think glue on is the way to go. I don't think I'm missing anything. Unlongs, glunons. Ah. Okay, there we go. There's a blank. We like to see the blank. Fishnet plays with Grower in a pretty lucrative spot right here. So Fishnet right here scores a lot, I'm sure. Um, let's do a quick check. Bingo's Finches, right? Finches. All right. Um, just, I'm not going to sim these. I just want to calculate the... Yeah, 91. That looks pretty good. I think we're going to go with Fishnet in the interest of time. Blocks the Raticates hook pretty nicely. Takes a 50-point lead. Board is bad. So far, so good. I like being up 50 on this board. Mid-pay. <laughs> That's very, very nice. Mid-pay is a great play by the computer to open multiple spots that I can't address at once. So now it has a lane here and action here. Um, Z. I don't think there's a Z play. Body looks pretty good. Through that A, 40. Let me... Not, I keep forgetting I shouldn't be doing that. Um, but let's think about if there's a Z play that goes through this Y. I really doubt it. All right, let's imagine that there's some play somewhere else. Z, A. I don't think there's much going on. I think I'm comfortable with body here. CIZ is a really nice scoring combination, and body scores 40, so we'll just go with that. Blocks the Y a little bit. Computer can easily bingo to the M of mid pay. Still have 12 minutes on the clock, and Fitz is chilling out. Oh my god, eradicated. I, I just am now realizing how scary this E hook is. I was feeling so good about the board. It's actually quite terrifying. Wow, that's a that's a gut punch because I could easily have been surprised by that earlier, but at least I'm seeing it now. Um, okay, so what what do I do about that? I have a C for here, but no plays that make any sense. Um, the computer exchange is four, which is a great opportunity for me to kind of um, push my lead up to a point where I don't really have to worry that much. I could play Zaida right here. I don't know if there's another really good way to burn the Z. But this E hook right here is absolutely a yawning wide open spot. There's a ton of E's to come, five. And then this lane is also a little bit dangerous, although most of the bingos that fit here probably require, they have to end in a vowel, probably they end in like E. Well, actually there's no Ds or really only one S. So maybe any time I get hit in this spot, it does reach the double. So I do have to worry a little bit about those extra points. Um, I think, 
as much as I would like to block this area right now, I'm not sure I have a great way to do it. I guess I could play Riz. I guess I could play Riz with one A unseen, me holding two A's. So if the computer does not have that A, it's very, very annoying for it. It blocks it blocks eradicated pretty well. And sets me up quite nicely with Riza on subsequent turns. Only one A and a blank left. It just exchanged four. Tricky. That's tricky. Man, I don't know. This is a total... I feel like... I mostly have this game pretty well in hand. I'm not sure I need to take a risk like this, but then again, the eradicated hook is just a really scary spot. Like what if it has QUE now? There's just a lot of things that I'm blocking. So I give up the Riza plays, but anytime any anytime it has something big through eradicated, I'm gonna feel a lot better about this play. This is a this is a weird play. Okay, the computer plays Venture, which that was going to play in two spots no matter what. And um, obviously it pretty much incentivizes me to play in that area now. So now I'm trailing and I'm thankful for this A hook. What should I do though? I mean, just Koa looks like it scores 34 leaving ASCI. That's pretty good. I could play Kazi. <laughs> uh, I don't think that's right. Kazi. Just continuing to hold the other E. I, don't, I think I would rather just take the spot now. Am I possibly missing anything better? I could play OK. That looks like it does well. Well, how many points is that? Three more points. Gotten myself into a pickle here. Oh, now I could play this. <laughs> oh. <laughs> so obviously the problem with Palaka, it scores 42, puts me up solidly, but it doesn't do anything to address the Riza spot. And I use both of my A's. I don't know. I don't know. A lot of different ways I could go here. <laughs> I really don't know. I'm not really up by very much. I'm not up by that much after I do this. I pretty much... The board is so open. There's going to be this. Oh, I guess I can even... Maybe there's stuff through the end that I have to worry about. Man, it really does become a race for the A, pretty much. If I play Poaka, doesn't it? Is OK the best way to split the difference between that? It scores 37 and leaves an A for next turn if the computer doesn't have one. There's a lot of good scoring spots here. That's the problem. QUA would just be so devastating, but I don't really know how to evaluate it all. All right, I got to make a move here. 27 unseen tiles, 1A. It just drew seven fresh tiles, so it's the odds are good that it did not draw that A. Not great, but better than... They're not terrible. I'm very torn by this. I'm going to play this and just hope for the best with the A. So I drew Sitolas. 
I would be amazed if it got blocked. If Satola's gets blocked, it's because it's been going. Okay, computer plays Chin. So. Stoical, I think. I think we're just gonna play this quickly. Oh, wait a second. Yeah, that nothing fits there. Okay, I think Satola's is all I'm likely to have. I'm up by a lot, but it could easily come back with something big. I'm actually happy to see it play the Q there, just because I don't want a QUA word to be played. But it could easily even the score right here. There, That A is lurking, and Riza is going to get played when that E comes down. OK, that was like best case scenario right there. All right, so I'm up by not a lot. There's a blank out. And if it has if the computer has the L, the odds of hitting the Y are not awful. And that's really the only spot. So if I can play something like right now I'm leaning kind of towards like Judd just to block this Y and leave very, very little else. If it has a bingo ending in O or A with the blank, I pretty much just tip my cap to it probably. Um, it leaves two in the bag, which I like. I suppose it could fish something in this part of the board to open more space, but I don't know. What would it do if it puts a... Uh, it's hard. It's going to be hard for it to fish only one tile after a play like Judd. Um, is there no play that goes all the way? Ginny, Johnny, probably not. All right, we're going to do this and hope for the best. We're going to have to find out after if I blocked anything. So Fitz is just chilling. We're happy to see that. It's a good boy. I'm up by 49. That should easily be enough. I don't know what, I mean, the B is the only point scoring tile left, so I don't see issues arising with that. What will the clever computer do? So yes, the time, I have the time as being shared between the two of us as an, in an attempt to get me to play with pace. I don't really know yet what I'll do. I guess I'll just do an instant loss. I'll just consider it a loss if I go over time because I have a couple other a couple other safeguards in place to help me along, such as I can try phonies and it costs me 15 points. You can type exclamation point MVM in the chat if you want to see what, what the rules are. This was actually very interesting. This game had interesting decisions in it with the Riz. That might have not been smart. It's definitely that position, that move was calculated aggression, but it made the absolute, it had a bad rack. Um, a rack that played in both spots with eradicated. So I didn't actually gain anything defensively by playing Riz. It would have been great to discover after the fact that I blocked some kind of a big play it doesn't didn't work out that way. Come on, computer! It's wasting wasting a lot of time trying to beat me here with something good. I'm not sure. Maybe I maybe I need to put in some kind of provision when it takes forever on the pre end game because the clock is ticking. There's no way I'm going to be able to do this end game properly, which is fine. All right, we're about to find out what it comes up with. <laughs> I have like a minute to respond. It seems maybe that's a flaw. I don't know. Maybe I should set it to 15 minutes and actually start and stop my timer. I don't know. I don't want to do that. Okay, it plays MAE. That looks really good. <laughs> that looks like a pretty nice idea. Um. Shoot. This is probably going to lose a lot, actually.
Oi. Good play, Quackle. Yeah, anything ending with ST, I needed to have the B, and it can play blueiest. Like, if I just put N and N here, that's not good enough. All right, I don't know what I'm going to do with time, but I'm not going to give myself an instant loss here. I'm just going to try to make a play in relatively short order. I think I mostly lose after playing Tin. Oh, I had Nid on the board also, so that definitely would not have been good. I need, if I come up with a five letter word here, that wins the game. I don't think there is any. Um. All right. Finit, for it. All right, I'm I'm not really sure how I can win the game after playing ten. I think I usually lose. All right, let's just see what happens. Wow, the blank in the bag. <laughs> the blank in the bag. Saved by the blank in the bag. I can't believe that. All right. Um, that's pretty amazing. So, okay, we need to workshop. I need to workshop what I'm going to do with the... That's fine. Um, okay, hey world. Yeah. <laughs> Ow. Hold on, the cats are attacking each other. That was an interesting game. We got to sim some of these positions, gang. Um, nice to see everybody, by the way. Um, let me um, pop up. Uh, so, <laughs> sweet cat dad. I have a, I have a, uh, a shirt that says best cat dad ever, in fact. Um, best of 100. Yeah, I just did that to sort of motivate myself to like keep going with it. I've always wanted to do a um, series like this, so I made it really long. And just because, you know, I'm always looking for content, so why not make it 100? I could peter out well before that. Um, oh, Zadie, yeah, Zadie there was probably a miss. Um, wow, Macondo, I would definitely switch over to Macondo at any time. At any time. All right, let's, let's, um, let's see what I had earlier on, so we can look here. Uh, oh, grow. That's nice. That leaves C-A-R. Yeah, I could totally play against different machines. doesn't have to be 100 against Quackle. I, well, I already do play Bingy Sanders. That's a machine that I play. And then I played the PlayStation 1 guy. Yeah, I could play quicker series against that. But Quackle is definitely the, the gold standard. Okay, so far so good with these plays. Did I miss anything here? Oh my god, Zadie. Oh, it was on this turn that I missed it. Oh, that's huge. That's a huge, huge mistake. Um, I'm very curious about this play, though. What did people think about this move? Um, so I was very close to just playing Zaida. There's Riz. I was hopeful that the setup of the A and the strong block of a lot of eradicated plays would put it over the top, but it looks like Zaida is just the customary thing to do. Um, maybe maybe just got a little excited. I don't know. It feels, it feels like it's a play with a lot of upside for me, but probably this play just bingos so much more. Mm, I don't know actually where where does it bingo so much more the board is terrible for bingoing 
So, um, yeah, I can accept that um, Zaida is probably better. Okay, I saw that play. Soak. Oh, I didn't, I didn't generate that as an option for some reason. That's definitely better. Um, but then I got lucky. So basically, I didn't. I missed a couple big plays in this game, but I drew the blank out of the bag at the very end. So um, anyway, um, yeah, that's true. Uh, okay, so this will be game one. Yeah, I could. Let's see. But I. But the thing about the thing about it is. Um, it's not even bingos that I'm worried about. Like the QUE plays in that spot could be pretty devastating too. But let's look. So here we have the details, which I, if anyone is a Quackle user and isn't looking at these, they are super, super helpful. So you can see that I actually <laughs> don't get very much defensive benefit at all. It looks like it yields, well, it might, it might give um, slight defensive benefits, any situation. Yeah, I have a fast computer now. I did not used to. <laughs> so the story of how I have a fast computer is that I didn't have anywhere near as fast a computer as I needed to do the NASPA Tournament of Champions. And it was so bad that on the Sunday before the event took place, we were contemplating postponing the event or having somebody else do the production because I was crashing too much and my CPU and GPU were maxed out trying to run it. Um, so literally at 6 p.m. on Sunday night prior to the NASPA Tournament of Champions, I ran out of the house to Best Buy and bought Christian K's recommendation for a new CPU and graphics card and I got RAM to boot. And I did open heart surgery on my computer for several hours that night with Christian as the brains and me as the hands. <laughs> and now I have a much faster computer. So congrats to me on that. Um, but yeah, Riz is probably more defensive anytime the computer doesn't have an A and then gives back all the points anytime it does have that last A, is my guess. Okay, well, that wasn't... Um, the sort of effort I would like to put forth. I pretty much got super, super lucky. But nevertheless, I did defeat the computer, and that's, you know, that's a game a computer would have won easily. Oh, what happened there? Do people like my Terminator font? I took the Terminator font from the eponymous movie Terminator. Hey folks, so as you can see, my first episode of Man vs. Machine ended very well for me. I won a perfect 5 out of 5 games, even though I wouldn't say I played very well. Um, but if you enjoyed this video, um, give me a follow on Twitch at the link below, twitch.tv slash wanderer15, to catch some of these games live as they happen.